Hey guys, Rusty over here, and I'm going to be showing you how you can solo Glory of the Firelands Raider for the Corrupted Firehawk, which is the Purple Firehawk, right? And by the way, this is including how to actually solo only the Penitent. However, I will say only classes with super high mobility are going to be able to do that achievement. However, the actual meta achievement is account wide. So if you have an alt, you could do it uh, only the Penitent on that alt and then swap back to your main. More on that achievement when we actually get there. I will, of course, leave chapters and timestamps in the video for you guys to skip to a specific achievement. And most of these are easy. For a lot of them, you just go in there and kind of just one-shot the boss. So, with that being said, let's just get right into it. Also, by the way, I guess I should mention before we actually do get into it, uh, part of the meta achievement is to actually clear all the bosses except Ragnaros on Heroic. Now, all these achievements can be done. Uh, the other achievements can be done on Heroic, so you can knock out two birds with one stone. However, only the Penitent, I do recommend doing on Normal Mode. More on that later. Lucky for you, you can do Firelands on both Normal and Heroic and One Week. Okay, that out of the way, let's get right into the guide. Now, the first achievement is going to be Death from Above, and that's simply to defeat Bethelak without killing any of the Cinderweb drones atop the web canopy. Pretty much, guys, if a Cinderweb drone spawns for whatever reason, don't kill them. Now, chances are the boss will be dead before that even happens, but just in case, I figured I'd mention if an ad spawns, simply ignore it. Now, what's going to happen is as soon as you pull the boss, she's going to go up onto the web, and you're going to have these other spiders that come down from the top of the web, kill them, it'll they'll drop a thing for you to click on. It's a web, shocking. You're going to click on that one, you're going to go all the way up to the top, you'll hit the boss a little bit, whip out your giant wiener dog, smack her around a little bit, she'll go down kill her and you'll get the achievement. Simple enough. Again, just to reiterate, if for whatever reason you take nine years to kill her and a Cinderweb drone does spawn, ignore it. Just just ignore it. Don't don't even kill it. Just kill the boss. Easy enough. Now, the next achievement is going to be do a barrel roll, and that's simply to kill Alice Razor without getting hit by specific abilities. Now, instead of going into detail of what these abilities are and actually showing you what they are, I'm going to give you the simple strategy, which is simply as soon as you get unrooted from the, all the RP, the boss is going to be flying in, immediately rush over to her, hit her with your cockadoodle doo slap her around a few times, and just kill the boss as soon as possible before she gets up in the air. And basically, guys, you're just going to go in there and one-shot her, not even worry about any of the mechanics that you're supposed to avoid. It's just simply that easy. And then, of course, you'll get the achievement, do a barrel roll. Simple enough. Now, the next achievement is going to be not an Ami Turner. And that's simply to defeat Lord Ryleth without making him turn left. Now, in order to do this, you're only going to want to DPS his right foot. The target is literally called right foot. Be careful of any cleave abilities or even trinkets or anything. Make sure you're only using single target abilities on that right foot. And essentially, you just keep DPSing it until he turns into big fire guy. Once he's the actual fire guy, simply kill the boss. You shouldn't have to DPS the right foot for too long. Again, this is a fire. It's, it's a very old raid, so it should die quick enough. Just to reiterate, guys, do not hit the left foot. Otherwise, the boss will likely turn left. That includes single target abilities, cleave abilities from trinkets, abilities, whatever. Whatever. Make sure you only hit the foot that is called right foot. Can't make that any clear. And then, of course, as soon as the boss turns into a fire mob or a fire blob, kill him. Easy enough, not an ambi turner. Now, the next achievement is going to be Bucket List. This one is easy to do, although it does take a little bit as there is a lot of walking. Now, first things first, you need to spawn Shanox. If you're not sure how to do that, simply keep killing trash until the boss eventually spawns. Next step, immediately kill rage face the dog the reason for that is that rage face will do a ability which will just stun you for 30 seconds at a time and it'll pretty much just spam cast that you won't be able to move essentially so make sure you go ahead and kill rage face after that don't kill the boss at all you need to drag him to certain locations of course in the video i will show you each location on the map where you need to drag the boss also by the way you can actually track this achievement to make sure when the, the location turns white the boss is good you can move to the next one now, the first one is going to be the Path of Corruption, which is actually near Bethelax Lair. It's actually a little hidden path, part of the uh, the legendary quest line. Go ahead and drag the boss there. Once the, it turns white in the achievement list, you're good. Then you're going to head over to Bethelax Lair. Now, there's two spots you can do this. There's kind of like the little, kind of like cheesy one where there's like a little, like I guess like a crevice there, like a little notch there. You can kind of drag the boss in and then you will it'll count towards the achievement. Or you could, that doesn't work out for you, simple enough. Just bring him to the entrance of Bethelax Lair bring him over there wait till the achievement turns white or part of the achievement turns white for Bethelax Lair and you're all set from there you're going to head back to the entrance of the raid which is going to be 
Flame Breach. Again, Flame Breach is just the entrance of the raid. Simply drink, bring the boss over there, and once it turns white under the achievement tracker, you're all set. Now you're going to go for a little bit of a trip. You need to head all the way over to Shatterstone. And this is Alice, Alice Razor's room, okay? Head over to there, drag the boss over there. Once the achievement turns white there, again, you're all set, and you can actually simply just walk over to basically to your right to the Ridge of Ancient Flame. It's actually pretty close. You don't have to go all the way up to Lord Ryla's room. Simply just drag him up the hill until the again all the achievement is white and then you're good to kill the boss before you kill it make sure every single location is not red and it is white if you're good everything's white go ahead kill the boss you'll get the achievement bucket list and of course in the video i will show you each location on the map where i drag the boss now the next achievement is going to be share the pain which is simply just go in there and kill balarak guys i'm not even going to read you achievement go in there you know the drill whip out your dongalong smack the boss with it a few times more than a few times if that's what you're into if you get off on it sure hey listen i don't judge point being you're gonna go in there you're gonna kill the boss you're gonna kill him dead you're gonna get your loot you're also gonna get an achievement and then there's only one left simple enough share the pain one shot the boss achievement earned congratulations all right moving on to the final achievement and that is going to be only the penitent this one is very difficult to solo it's also going to take a little bit to explain so strap in now first First thing is first, only certain classes are going to be able to do this. The four that I can confirm for myself that I have done are Demon Hunters, Windwalker Monks, Warlocks, and Mages. Now I have seen in YouTube comments from my previous video, I can't confirm these myself, but in comments I've heard people said they've done it with Warriors, with Heroic uh, Leap and Bounding Stride. Uh, Vent Theodora Shadows has helped with things like Hunters and also Druid Tiger Dash. Um, maybe Priest might and DKs might be able to do it Vent Theodora Shadows, although I cannot confirm. Point being guys, you if you have alts to do this on, do this on an alt as again the achievement is account wide. Have it do this achievement on the alt and you could do all the rest on your main if you want but this one you need to have a mobile class to do this in my opinion demon hunter was the easiest one to do this on maybe it's because i made a demon hunter but point being you need a mobile class to do this on while this achievement is doable on heroic heroic mode does spawn two extra druids of the flame which does increase your chance of aggroing them and messing up the achievement so if you can do it on normal mode i definitely recommend doing it on normal mode since you could do both difficulties in each week however if you want to try on heroic and if you mess it up not a big deal you could always go back to normal mode there you go you're also going to want to create a slash kneel macro that's going to be very important you can technically type out neil if you want but only if nut cases are going to do that go ahead and just make a slash neil macro it's really easy to do and just bind it to a key on your bars now once or right before you get to major domo stag helm there's going to be an inner circle and there's going to be a druid of the flame casting neil to the flame if you walk on that inner circle and get hit by Neil to the flame, those two fire orbs on the left and the right will despawn and you will fail the achievement. Now, by the way, if you do fail the achievement, the fire orbs despawn. Do not kill the Druid of the Flames. If you kill the Druid of the Flames, you have to either wait till next week or do it on normal heroic, depending what you're on. However, if the orbs despawn, what you can do is you can actually run out of the ra raid and wait 30 minutes and that will soft reset the raid again you have to wait 30 minutes that will soft reset the raid and the orbs will respawn if you do mess it up so what you're going to do is you need to run to an orb pick an orb left the right doesn't matter as you're walking right before the druid of the flame finishes casting kneel to the flame you need to be kneeling and the fire orbs will not re uh, despawn if you are kneeling so keep slowly running over to that orb kneeling each time the cast is about to finish until finally you eventually reach the orb now i'm going to be showing you on a demon hunter and also I, I could show footage of my windwalker monk that i have recorded that i could show you guys this on but what you're going to do make sure you're kneeling and as soon as the druid of the flame also slow it down a video for you guys to see as soon as the druid of the flame finishes his cast the second he does that immediately click the orb you are standing by by the way first before you click it make sure you unkneel first take a small step forward as sometimes when you're kneeling it can actually bug out and it won't count as you click in the orb take a slight step forward click the orb then you go on to immediately use all your movement speed abilities to get over to that next orb demon hunter metamorphosis double fell rush get over to that orb windwalker monk for example i use chi torpedo and uh transcendence to click that orb uh warlocks can use the demonic circle teleport in their gateway mages alter time 
Warriors bounding strike. You get the idea, guys. You need to use some fast movement speed ability to get over to that other orb and just click the orb and just channel into it. And hopefully the achievement should pop for you. Now I'm going to be real with you guys. This achievement is incredibly finicky to solo. Obviously, I'm going to make it look easy on the footage that I have, but this took me multiple attempts to get down on each of the classes that I have it recorded on, Demon Hunter and Monk, as the achievement is very finicky and sometimes it just will not work. While this is soloable, guys, honestly, I, rec I really, really recommend just two-manning this achievement. Two-manning this achievement, if you have a friend, guildmate, or hell, even someone from Trade Chat to help you, just trivializes the heck out of this achievement, man. So, I know this is a solo guide, but guess what? You get bonus content. I am going to show you how to two-man it, although it's pretty straightforward. Both of you are going to pick an orb, one to the left, one to the right. Make sure, again, walk to the orb, slash kneeling on the way there, right before the cast finishes. Right, once you, once both of you reach the orbs, again, wait for the druid to finish his cast, can do a countdown, and at the same time, click the orbs, and you will get the achievement. Again, guys, this achievement is a joke to two men. However, if you want to solo it, you can also solo it. There you go. Now, while there are achievements for Ragnaros, it is not part of Glory of the Firelands Raider, so as soon as you finish only the Penitent, kill Heroic Stag Helm, you'll get the achievement, you'll get your purple mount, very very cool looking mount this is definitely one of the one of the coolest looking mounts that blizzard has ever made in my opinion of course now the hardest achievement in here guys is going to be only the penitent obviously the rest are pretty much a joke compared to it now if you're too solo obviously now if you're gonna try and solo this take your t like be patient again the achievement is very finicky it might take a while to work sometimes the orbs will just not count as you clicking on them it's happened to me a couple times well more than a couple times Again, guys, I really do recommend two-manning only the penitent if you have that friend, guildmate, or again, even just someone from trade chat. A freaking can of soup can two-man this achievement. Okay, guys, you'll be fine. Just get someone from trade chat or the group finder to help you out. Or if you don't want to, go ahead, try your luck at solving it. Anyways, guys, that's pretty much it. As usual, if you have any questions, feel free to leave a comment down below. I will do my best to answer them. If you like the video, if it helped you out, hey, throw it a like. It helps me out. You know what it does? It also makes me a happy boy. Subscribe to the channel if you're not subbed already. And before I go, before I go, question. Now think real hard about this. What is the best Halo? Now if you thought anything but Halo 3, recognize your opinion is a wrong opinion because it's just simply Halo 3 and that's a fact. All right guys, until next time guys. Bye bye.